skeleton pushed golf ball, tennis ball, and Rocky off. Right, right, I, re I remember that. Then you fell asleep. Then Jelton and Fiery decided to tie their legs together and fall off. Seems like the type of thing they would do. So where are they now? I heard two demonic screams, so they probably got eaten by Evil Leafy. You mean that Evil Leafy? Hey, aren't we forgetting someone? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, we aren't missing anyone. I mean, like, golf ball and tennis ball and rock. <laughs> You're kidding, right? OMG, Book, you are, like, so hilarious. But we want to win, right? Well, yes, but... Shush. You have just answered your own question. Do I press it? Yes, of course. Of course, you dum dum, of course you press it! <laughs> okay. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details and instructions will follow. Stand by. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives, will shortly deliver a message over emergency alert system. Please stand by for message over the emergency alert system. The following message is given authorization for release at the request of myself, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, with the conjunction of the United Nations, and the North Atlantic Aerospace Defense Command, effective as of 11.37 a.m., Mountain Standard. Time. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. The global state of emergency is now in progress, at approximately 11.20 a.m., Mountain Standard Time, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, as well as many other space agencies around the world have discovered that the sun has turned into a blood-red color, and the sky is slowly turning into a blood-red color as well, and the moon has turned into a blood-red color, whoever looks at the sun or moon will liquefy within 30 to 60 seconds after exposure, and will transform them into liquefied zombies and the liquefied zombies will attack anything in its sight. It is unknown what caused this event to occur, but the death toll could be at the hundred millions, or even billions. And the liquefied zombies have been reported. In every country in the world, you can tell what they look like, because of the following characteristics, very aggressive behavior, increased gelatinization in the entire body, and reduced skin composition. All attempts to contain these ghoul-like zombies have completely failed miserably, and have resulted in even more transformations, and countless casualties. All residents in the world, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter, and are strongly advised to follow these instructions, fear the light. Stay away from the light. Stay away from these creatures. Stay away from areas that have been exposed to the sun slash moonlight. Do not go outside, if you want to, put on several layers of clothing, to cover your entire body. Go to an underground shelter, and shelter in a room with as little doors and windows as possible. Do not approach people affected by this anomaly, anyone exposed to the sunlight are lost and compromised by the zombies, and will pose a threat to anything in its sight. And if one of your family members go missing, do not attempt to search for them, you are advised. 
applies to cut off all ties with people exposed to the sunlight slash moonlight, which includes family, friends, children, spouses, and pets. The United States government is currently working on a contingency plan to keeping it intact, but it is likely that this will fail due to this event being out of our control. Martial law has been put in effect indefinitely, or until till this situation has been dealt with. Sanctuaries have been put into people that have not been exposed to the sunlight. And you will stay there indefinitely, or until this situation is dealt with. Americans should stay away from the sunlight slash moonlight all hours of the day. Refusal to this order will result in exposure and immediate transformation or possibly being shot by the National Guard. There is absolutely no way to contain this event. In addition, it is likely that this will be the end of the world as we know it. I advise all Americans to gather with loved ones, including friends, family, pets, etc. and brace for the end. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. Do not tell younger children about this event and make sure they well-being during these dark times. I have selected a verse of the Bible to be read on the air. Thessalonians 5, 23-24 Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, he will surely do it. We will now conclude the final activation of the emergency alert system, with our very last playing of the national anthem, God bless the United States, and the rest of the world. Your government thanks you, for your cooperation, but this is the end. We've had a great time together for 4.5 billion years. Thank you for the things you've put up. event to occur, but the death toll could be at the hundred millions, or even billions. 
and the liquefied zombies have been reported in every country in the world, you can tell what they look like because of the following characteristics, very aggressive behavior, increased gelatinization in the entire body, and reduced skin composition. All attempts to contain these the like. Zombies have completely failed miserably, and have resulted in even more transformations, and countless casualties. All residents in Canada, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter. And are strongly advised to follow these instructions, feel the light. Stay away from the light. Stay away from these creatures. Stay away from areas that have been exposed to the sun slash blue light. Do not go outside, if you want to, put on several layers of clothing, to cover your entire body. Go to an underground shelter, and shelter in a room with, as little doors and windows as possible. Do not approach people affected by this anomaly, anyone exposed to the sunlight are lost and compromised by the zombies, and will pose a threat to anything in its sight. And if one of your family members go missing, do not attempt to search for them, you are advised to cut off all ties with people exposed to the sunlight slash moonlight, which includes family, friends, children, spouses, and pets. The Canadian government is currently working on a contingency plan to keep it intact, but it is likely that this will fail due to this event being out of our control. Martial law has been put in effect indefinitely, or until till this situation has been dealt with. Sanctuaries have been put into people that have not been exposed to the sunlight. And you will stay there indefinitely, or until this situation is dealt with. Canadians should stay away from the sunlight slash blue light all hours of the day. Refusal to this order will result in exposure and immediate transformation. Or, possibly being shot by the National Guard. There is absolutely no way to contain this event, in addition, it is likely, that this will be the end of the world, as we know it. I advise all Canadians to gather with loved ones, including friends, family, pets, etc. and brace for the end. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. Do not tell younger children about this event, and make sure they are well being during these dark times. I have selected a verse of the Bible to be read on the air. Thessalonians 5 colon 23 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, he will surely do it. We will now conclude the final activation of the Lord May system with our very last playing of the national anthem, God bless Canada and the rest of the world. Your government thanks you for your cooperation, but this is the end. We had a great time together for 4.5 billion years. Thank you for the things you put us through. This message will now repeat. Le type d'événement est une urgence nationale pour tout le Canada. En vigueur jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Le message suivant est transmis à la demande du Premier ministre du Canada et de l'Agence spatiale canadienne. Ce n'est pas un test. Je le répète, ce n'est pas un test. Vers 11h20, heure normale des Rocheuses, la Nationale Aéronautique and Space Administration, ainsi que de nombreux autres agences spatiales du monde entier, ont découvert que le soleil était devenu rouge sang et que le ciel se transformait lentement en un rouge sang couleur rouge sang également, et la lune est devenue rouge sang. Celui qui regarde le soleil ou la lune se liquéfiera dans les 30 à 60 secondes après l'exposition et les transformera en zombies liquéfiés et les zombies liquéfiés attaqueront n'importe quoi et son site. On ne sait pas ce qui a provoqué cet événement, mais le nombre de morts pourrait s'élever à des centaines de millions, voire des milliards et les zombies liquéfiés ont été signalés dans tous les pays du monde, vous pouvez dire à quoi ils ressemblent, grâce aux caractéristiques suivantes, comportement très agressif, gélatinisation accrue dans tout le corps et composition. Cutanée réduite. Toutes les tentatives visant à contenir ces zombies ressemblant à des gros ont complètement échoué et ont entraîné encore plus de transformations et d'innombrables victimes. Il est fortement conseillé à tous les résidents du Canada, peu importe où vous habitez, de chercher un abri souterrain. Et il est fortement conseillé de suivre ces consignes, craignez la lumière. Éloignez-vous de la lumière. Éloignez-vous de ces créatures. Éloignez-vous des zones exposées au soleil ou clair de lune. Ne sortez pas, si vous le souhaitez, mettez plusieurs couches de vêtements, pour couvrir tout votre corps. Allez dans un abri souterrain et s'abriter dans une pièce avec le moins de portes et de fenêtres possible. N'approchez pas les personnes affectées par cette anomalie. 
toute personne exposée au soleil est perdue et compromise par les zombies, et constituera une menace pour tout ce qui se trouve sur son site. Et si un membre de votre famille disparaît, n'essayez pas de le rechercher, il vous est conseillé de couper tout lien avec les personnes exposées au soleil clair de lune. Cela comprend la famille, les amis, les enfants, les conjoints et les animaux de compagnie. Le gouvernement canadien travaille actuellement sur un plan d'urgence pour le maintenir intact, mais il est probable que cela échouera, car cet événement est hors de notre contrôle. La loi martiale a été appliquée indéfiniment, ou jusqu'à ce que cette situation soit réglée. Des sanctuaires ont été installés chez des personnes qui n'ont pas été exposées au soleil. Et vous y resterez. Indéfiniment, ou jusqu'à ce que cette situation soit réglée. Les Canadiens devraient rester à l'écart du soleil et du clair de lune à toute heure de la journée. Le refus de cet ordre entraînera une exposition et une transformation immédiate. Ou peut-être avoir été abattu par la garde nationale. Il n'y a absolument aucun moyen de contenir cet événement. De plus, il est probable que ce soit la fin du monde tel que nous le connaissons. Je conseille à tous les Canadiens de se réunir avec leurs proches, y compris leurs amis, leurs familles, leurs animaux de compagnie, etc., et de se préparer à la fin. Il n'y a aucune raison de rester calme. Passez en mode panique. Ne parlez pas de cet événement aux plus jeunes enfants et assurez-vous de leur bien-être en ces temps sombres. J'ai sélectionné un verset de la Bible à lire à l'antenne. Thessaloniciens 5, 23h24. Maintenant, que le Dieu de paix lui-même vous sanctifie complètement, et que tout votre esprit, votre âme et votre corps restent irréprochables à la venue de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Celui qui vous appelle est fidèle, il le fera sûrement. Nous allons maintenant conclure l'activation finale du système en alerte, avec notre toute. Dernière interprétation de l'hymne national, que Dieu bénisse le Canada, et le reste du monde. Votre gouvernement vous remercie pour votre coopération, mais c'est la fin. Nous passons de bons moments ensemble depuis 4,5 milliards d'années. Merci pour les choses que vous nous avez faites. of something. Just prank us out already! It's so claustrophobic in here! Everyone, come help us save your friends! Don't worry, guys. We'll get you the help you need. Everyone, come help us save your friends! Oh, on my way. Uh, I guess. Oh no! I underestimated how big my warehouse is! Uh, this might take a while! This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Information about an anomaly has been received. At approximately 11.20 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 
the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, as well as many other space agencies around the world have discovered that the sun has turned into a blood red color, and the sky is slowly turning into a blood red color as well, and the moon has turned into a blood red color. Whoever looks at the sun or moon will liquefy within 30 to 60 seconds after exposure, and will transform them into liquefied zombies and the liquefied zombies will attack anything and its sight. It is unknown what caused this event to occur, but the death toll could be at the hundred millions, or even billions. And the liquefied zombies have been reported in every country in the world. You can tell what they look like, because of the following characteristics, very aggressive behavior, increased gelatinization in the entire body, and reduced skin composition. All attempts to contain these ghoul-like zombies have completely failed miserably, and have resulted in even more transformations, and countless casualties. All residents in the UK, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter, and are strongly advised to follow these instructions. Fear the light. Stay away from the light. Stay away from these creatures. Stay away from areas that have been exposed to the sun, moonlight. Do not go outside, if you want to, put on several layers of clothing, to cover your entire body. Go to an underground shelter, and shelter in, a room with as little doors and windows as possible. Do not approach people affected by this anomaly, anyone exposed to the sunlight are lost and compromised by the zombies, and will pose a threat to anything in its sight. And if one of your family members go missing, do not attempt to search for them. You are advised to cut off all ties with people exposed to the sunlight, moonlight. Which, includes, family, friends, children, spouses, and pets. The British government is currently working on a contingency plan to keeping it intact. But it is likely, that this will fail, due to this event being out of our control. Martial law has been put in effect indefinitely, or until till this situation has been dealt with. Sanctuaries have been put into people that have not been exposed to the sunlight. And you will stay there indefinitely, or until this situation is dealt with. The British should stay away from the sunlight, moonlight all hours of the day. Refusal to this order will result in exposure and immediate transformation. Or possibly being shot by the National Guard. There is absolutely no way to contain this event. In addition, it is likely, that this will be the end of their, world as we know it. I advise all British people to gather with loved ones, including friends, family, pets, etc. and brace for the end. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. Do not tell younger children about this event, and make sure their well-being during these dark times. I have selected a verse of the Bible to be read on the air. Thessalonians 5 colon 23 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faith. He will surely do it. We will now conclude the final activation of the Alert Ready system, with our very last playing of the National Anthem. God bless the United Kingdom, and the rest of the world. Your government thanks you for your cooperation, but this is the end. We've had a great time together for 4.5 billion years. Thank you for the things...
Please stand by for a broadcast over the emergency warning system. Please stand by for a broadcast over the emergency warning system. Please stand by for a broadcast over the emergency warning system. Please stand by for a broadcast over the emergency warning system. This is our emergency broadcast. Information about an anomaly has been received. At approximately 11.20 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, as well as many other space agencies around the world, have discovered that the sun has turned into a dead red color, and the sky is slowly turning into a blood red color as well, and the moon has turned into a blood red color. Whoever looks at the sun or moon will liquefy within 30 to 60 seconds after exposure, and will transform them into liquefied zombies, and the liquefied zombies will attack anything at its sight. It is unknown what caused this event to occur, but the death toll could be at the hundred millions, or even billions, and the liquefied zombies have been reported in every country in the world. You can tell what they look like, because of the following characteristics, very aggressive behavior, increased gelatinization in the entire body, and reduced skin composition. All attempts to contain these scale-like zombies have completely failed miserably, and have resulted in even more transformations, and countless casualties. All residents in Australia, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter and are strongly advised to follow these instructions, fear the light. Stay away from the light. Stay away from these creatures. Stay away from areas that have been exposed to the sun slash moon light. Do not go outside. If you want to, put on several layers of clothing to cover your entire body. Go to an underground shelter and shelter in a room with as little doors and windows as possible. Do not approach people affected by this anomaly. Anyone exposed to the sunlight or lost and compromised by the zombies and will pose a threat to anything in its sight. And if one of your family members go missing, do not attempt to search for them. You are advised to cut off all ties with people exposed to the sunlight slash moonlight. Which includes family, friends, children, spouses and pets. The Australian government is currently working on a contingency plan to keeping it intact, but it is likely that this will fail due to this event being out of our control. Martial law has been put in effect indefinitely, or until till this situation has been dealt with. Sanctuaries have been put into people that have not been exposed to the sunlight. And you will stay there indefinitely, or until this situation is dealt with. Australians should stay away from the sunlight slash moonlight all hours of the day. Refusal to this order will result in exposure and immediate transformation or possibly being shot by the National Guard. There is absolutely no way to contain this event. In addition, it is likely that this will be the end of the world as we know it. I advise all Australians, together with loved ones, including friends, family, pets, etc., embrace for the end. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. Do not tell younger children about this event, and make sure they are well being during these dark times. I have selected a verse of the Bible to be read on the air. Thessalonians 5.23-24 Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, he will surely do it. We will now conclude the final activation of the National Emergency Warning System with our very last playing of the National Anthem, God Bless Australia and the rest of the world. Your government thanks you for your cooperation. But this is the end. We've had a great time together for 4.5 billion years. Thank you for the things...